Hey everybody, Pastor Dan here, coming at you from the elementary Sunday school classroom. A few weeks ago in worship, I mentioned that we are in need of a new Sunday school teacher who can hang out with our elementary kids here at church. It's a twice a month commitment on Sunday mornings during the service from September through June. And believe it or not, we haven't gotten any takers yet. Now I have gotten a lot of excuses from folks who don't wanna serve in children's ministry. And in an effort to help get the word out and try to promote this a little bit, I thought I would count down five reasons you might not want to serve in children's ministry. Reason number one, by far the most common response I get when trying to recruit folks to serve in kids' ministry is, I don't want to miss the sermon and or the church service. And I understand that. Worship is an important part of Christian life. I am happy to hear that so many of us value worshiping together on Sunday mornings. And it's touching to know that there are so many people who actually want to listen to me talk for 20 minutes. Mind-blowing. Here's the thing, though. If you don't want to miss the worship service, if that's the only reason you're not volunteering in children's ministry, we've actually got you covered. You can go to our website, rockportfirstbaptist.org, Click the little Servings tab, and there you will find audio recordings of our sermons and the full worship service posted every single week, usually by Monday. And I know that the audio experience isn't quite the same as being there in person, although I do know a few folks from our church who actually prefer to go online and listen to the sermons. But here's the thing. We all miss church from time to time. People get sick, we go on vacation, cars break down. There's a lot of legitimate reasons to miss worshiping together. But I don't know if I can think of a better reason to miss worship than hanging out with a group of kids and teaching them about Jesus. Reason number two that you might not want to serve in kids' ministry is, I'm not qualified. It's a daunting task to actually teach the faith to kids, especially when we aren't even sure how to answer some of our own questions. Here's the thing, though. We have a fantastic new curriculum we're going to be using with the kids this fall. It's called Spark, and it is amazing. Everything you need to teach the class is right there in the teacher's guide. They give you a ton of material. A little bit of prep work is really all it takes. On top of that, our class sizes are small. There aren't that many kids in our church yet, and you will never be alone with the kids. We always have at least two adults serving with the kids at all times. Uh, the adults actually take turns teaching, so you won't even have to take the lead every time you're in there, and you'll always have backup. So trust me, you can do this. If you love Jesus and can keep a room full of kids alive for 40 minutes, you are plenty qualified. A third reason you might not want to serve in children's ministry, and, and this is more of a question I get from folks who don't want to help, and it's why don't the parents do it? You know, I did my time, I taught Sunday school when my kids were little, why don't the parents take the lead? I have a couple thoughts on this one. Number one, we have a lot less families in our church than we once did. There is no way we're going to sustain a thriving children's ministry with only the parents helping out. Second observation, though, and this one's far more important, is that our young parents in this church are already serving. It's parents who help keep our nursery going. It's parents who are often in the tech room running slides, doing sound, or preparing food for the gathering table. In fact, one of the reasons that you don't see a lot of people my age at our church is because they are already plugged in and serving somewhere else. Many of our parents already miss one to two Sundays a month because they're already serving somewhere in our church, which means that we need you, able-bodied people who don't have little kids of your own to worry about, we need you to step up and help if we're going to be able to have a sustainable family ministry at this church. 
A fourth excuse I get, and trigger warning, this one's pretty cringy, but it often comes from the men in the church. And that's, isn't children's ministry women's work? I can't tell you how many men, even in our progressive church where we consider all the genders to be fully equal, I can't tell you how many men have responded to the invitation to serve in children's ministry by dismissing it as women's work or directing me to their wives. That's another form this excuse can take. Here's the thing, though. It takes a bare minimum of about 12 volunteers to make our children's ministry happen month in and month out. 12 people we need. Out of all those people, do you know how many are men? Do you know how many men regularly serve with the kids here at our church? One! Shout out to Dick Carter, who does an amazing job with the elementary kids, but he's the only one. So fellas, please, you're making us look bad. Step up and serve with the kids. It ain't just women's work. The fifth and final reason you might not want to serve in children's ministry is, I hate children. Believe it or not, I've actually gotten this response from a few of you. And if you really hate kids, if you despise children, well, I don't actually think I want you serving in children's ministry. So, good job, I guess? For the rest of us, though, who don't hate kids, please, you guys, we need someone to step up. My kids need a few adult Christians in their life who they're not related to, who can share the love of God with them and tell them about Jesus. It's a twice a month commitment, Sunday mornings, during worship. You're already in the building. If you can help with this, contact the church and let us know. I know that I will forever be in your debt and your reward will be great in heaven. I'll see you Sunday. Grace and peace.